Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How, How are, are you? you today? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. It's good to see you again. What Mr. time Mr. is it? What time is it now? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes. Okay. Mister, do, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, okay. Eduardo. Uh, which, which, which word sounds better? Good evening or good night? Good evening. So, uh, when you are starting something, like right now, you're supposed yeah. to say good evening. Okay. If I come to your house and I knock on the door, I have to say yeah. good evening, Eduardo. Can I speak with you? Now, when I'm saying goodbye, you say good night. Ah, uh, okay, get it. I get it. Right. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. What is today's date? Twenty-seventh October. Okay. October twenty-seventh. Okay, so you can say October twenty-seventh, or if you want the British version, you can say twenty-seventh of October. So the two options are good. But if you start with the date, you need to say uh, the preposition of the 27th of October, 2020. Yes. Okay. Thank All you. right. Do you remember the topics we covered uh, last night? Do you remember the topics we covered last night? No. You guys don't remember what we did last night? We were talking about a conversation between a boy and a girl. Okay. That was, that was uh, that thinking they were remember uh -huh. about uh, uh, turning points right. of getting mature. Right, right, yes. So, you know, there are different events, uh, different times in a person's life that they make you change. And sometimes those changes are very radical. Like people see you and they don't recognize you. Maybe because of the way you look, maybe because of how you have changed your lifestyle. So different events. Okay, uh, anything else about yesterday? Any other topics about yesterday? No? Ovidio, welcome back, Ovidio. Hi, teacher. Were you on vacation yesterday? <laughs> no, I was working okay. for a, a very, uh, up, up to 11, yeah. 11 p.m. Yeah, and the semester yeah. is almost finished, huh? In the university, yeah. it's almost finished. Uh, no, uh, it left for uh, I think three three weeks. So. Three more weeks. Three yeah, more it's weeks. it's not uh, much. It's not. Much. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a little bit. <laughs> okay, good. Noé, welcome back. Hello, good evening. How are you, Noé? Fine, very good. How okay, you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Were you on vacation last night? No, I was on a uh, training. Oh, okay. Good. Nice. Yes. All right. Good. All right. So any questions or comments about the activities we did yesterday, class? No? All right. So um, like Celia was saying, you know, we were practicing with a conversation uh, between two people and they were talking about how life changed uh, in their lives. So when you're talking about changes, um, people use time clauses. Do you remember time clauses like before, after, the time I? Uh, so you use time clauses to introduce something that uh, you want to share. So let me see this here. Uh -huh. It's right here. Double click. Oh, 
Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes, what yes, is the sir. name of yes, but it's what's... Only white. You, you don't see the information? Yes. What is what is the topic? Time classes. Time classes. Time classes. Excellent. Okay, so let me send that image. Uh -huh. Let me see this here. Nine to ten. Okay, so this is what we will do. So I'm sending you this image to the WhatsApp chat, or if you want, you can take a screenshot from what you're seeing right now. You guys will be working in pairs, and you will talk about uh, things or changes that, that uh, help you change in your life. I have problems. Okay, so let me see this here. Break rooms. Give me a second, son. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, create rooms. One second. Okay, give me a second, Matthew. Uh -huh. Move to room 10. Okay, so um, this is what I want you to do. I want you to use the time clauses. Uh, before, after, once, the moment, as soon as, until, and by the time to talk about your life and how these particular events helped you change. So let me do this here. And I will be visiting your room. So here we go. It's loading. Wait. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, let's see. Let's continue after. Uh, what would I say? Let's see. After I started the university, 
I had to learn to socialize. Okay. After I got my first job, I understand the value of the money and the time. Um, I think twice before I buy something. Okay. So let's see once. Uh, once I had my first or life, you think time flows, Chris. Okay. Uh, did you see the image? About, the about, about uh, our life or in general or? About our life. The night. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I <laughs> How was your week? You had a I, week off. Um, um, yesterday <laughs> uh, was fun. Was uh, fun. Okay, good. Many, many words. Okay, good. Noe is going to explain what we are doing. Can you I put was... the phrases on a computer or something? Sure, sure. Right now, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, now. Yes. Okay. So uh, I already uh, sent the image to the chat, I think. Let me see this here. Yes, it's, it's in the chat. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, teacher, what mean mature? Mature. Mature or immature? Inmature. Inmature is inmaduro. In mature is maduro. Maduro. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Okay. We are talking about our life. Okay. So, can you tell us? Okay. Um, I um, okay before yeah sounds great okay so uh, uh now uh, we need to change the rule right so um, I'm going to uh, say before the okay. time counts and before okay um let me think. Um, before I learned to uh, speak English properly, I was a little bit shy to speak in public. In public. Okay. Um. The other one is after. Yep. After. After I decide to learn English, I became uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it. Okay, I will use other example. After I went to you I have really I have I have already started working. Yeah. Um, uh, as soon as I I got my my first uh, my first store, I start to be more responsible. As, as soon as I got my own car, I started to be more, more responsible with my, with my job. Until I, I start the university, I never had a, I, I never had a, any responsibility. Oh, yeah. Sociable. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. 
You working from home? Uh, yeah, uh, well, it's uh, something like that uh, uh, now. What, the, what word what can we use? Um... Hi, teacher. Which Hi. word are you looking for? Uh, after. After? Yeah. Mm, what do you mean exactly? I don't know. Uh, the thing is that um, I joined later uh, after you said the, indi the indication the image. of disappearing. Oh. Yeah, I got the image, yes. Okay. Um, I, so, I copied the image, but um, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if, if, we, if we're okay. going to read it or we're going to practice with the, the, the time classes. Uh, okay, you will use the time classes to talk okay. about changes or events that, uh, that changed your life. Okay. Yes. So, uh, for example, you will say, that, um, um, what, what is, we were what is, talking. We were talking about COVID, and I, I was telling her that before uh -huh. COVID, I used to go out uh, every weekend okay. to make some tourism. Okay. Uh huh. Not anymore. No, of course. <laughs> of course not anymore. No. Nowadays, yeah. This Sunday, I went to to Komasawa. Okay. But but. but uh, the moment we have uh, the quarantine, we 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 couldn't go out, so I have to spend a lot of time at home in ho on in home. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. So just you just need to use the time clauses um, to talk about uh, uh, like the one you're mentioning right now, like uh, apply it of how we helped you. Uh, changed your life do do i make myself clear yes so just just apply it so just use the uh, the time clauses and for example you said before the quarantine came i used to go out every saturday after they told us about the emergency i stay home more often, more frequent. So just, just apply it in your life. Okay. Sure, okay. All right. Room six, room seven, all right. Hello, hello. Hello. Are you guys finished? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. let me see this here. So let me visit two more groups. The moment I moved away from home, I felt like a different person. The moment I moved from home, I felt like a different person. Yes, totally. I think uh, you have more responsibilities. Um, you have more more things to do, uh, maybe just not for yourself, but for your family, or wife, or your partners, or if you have sons or daughters, you, you, you totally became a different person, I think. Yes, I, 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 think, I think the same, because I, when I, I moved away from home, I I live I far from my my family, and I I felt <laughs> like a different person because I I live far from my 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 family. Yes, ready come. Yeah, okay. Please, uh, could you explain the question? I can understand. Now, we're, we're using time clauses so you can apply it to talk about your life events. So, for example, in the WhatsApp chat, 
I I shared it and uh, let me see, nine to 10, nine to 10. Uh, so before uh, the quarantine came, I used to have a normal life. After they told us about the emergency, my life has been totally different. So just, just things and apply it to your personal uh, experience. Okay. Is it clear, Erica, Jessica? Yeah, Erica. Yeah, Erica, Erica, <laughs> not Jessica. Okay, very good. Well, right now, I'm just studying. Uh, well, not a studying because I'm working in my thesis, my graduation process. Hello. So I'm not working. Hello. Hi. Are you talking to me or to someone else? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I can listen to you for some time. But oh, I'm me. sorry. Yes, I was just telling you that I'm in my graduation process right now. But I'm not working at this moment. I'm just studying, just about to graduate. What are you studying, Jessica? I'm um, I'm studying what? Yeah, what or career? Where? What career? I'm I'm international marketing student. Good, good. And you finished this year? <laughs> When do no. you finish, Jessica? No, yet. Okay. But you will um, finish soon. Hopefully this year. All right. This year. Good, good. Yes. Nice. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Did you have a good day? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, you know, things don't happen exactly the way we expect them to happen, but it is what it is. Yes. Okay. So did you guys finish with the first exercise? Yes, we did. Yes. Okay. So let me visit just one more room and then we'll go back to the main session. Okay. Hello, yes. teacher. Hello, how are you today? We are late, so uh -huh. we don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> why why <laughs> were you late? Uh, uh, it's a long, long story. We don't have the time. Okay. Uh, now, I, I was sharing, uh, did you receive the image in the WhatsApp uh, chat about uh, time clauses? Yes. No. Okay, so you were supposed to be using um, you were supposed to be using those time clauses um, and apply it like how life has changed uh, in your life. Like before the pandemic came, I used to go out every Saturdays. Oh, okay. Uh, after the quarantine, I have gained a lot of weight. I mean, so things that you can apply in a real life. Uh, situation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we have just that, the last one, one sounds like that. Yeah, it sounds very familiar, huh? Hmm. Okay, so we have <laughs> yeah. uh, one more minute before we uh, go back to the to the same to the main session. Okay. Okay. So right now, just practice as much as you can. Well, in my case, um, before the quarantines began, I used to uh, travel every single day to my work. Okay. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to use the time clauses? 
No. Is everything clear? I have a question. Yes, Grace. Uh, I have a question with the meaning of as soon as. Uh huh. I'm not clear with the meaning. Okay. Um, let me give you an example. As soon as I finished high school, I began to work. So you have one event happening immediately after the other. As soon as I received the money, I went to pay the bank. So I received the money and immediately I went to pay the bank. Oh, something yeah. happening at the, like, at the same time. Yeah, like, like, like spontaneous, yes. So oh. you're just waiting for something to do something next. Oh, okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else had a question? For example, teacher, uh, as soon as I finish this class, I go to sleep. Exactly. Okay. Good. As soon as I finish this class, I go to sleep. I'm history. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's a good example. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you really go to sleep right after the class, uh, Alma Brisa? Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, teacher, with yes, this, Karen. this example, uh, it's talking about past and then we'll talk about the future? Sure. Uh, you can, you know, like, uh, yes, one of yesterday's activity was um, oriented for the past tense, how people used to be and how they are now. But you can also use it in, in, in other tenses. So give me a call as soon as you arrive. That is future. So I will send you a message as soon as I receive the money. That is future as well. So okay. you can use it in okay. different tenses, yes. Okay. Good. Any other questions or comments, people? Peter, I have. Yes. I have yes, a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the pronunciation of emprendimiento? Um, like, is it in the in the document that I? Uh, no, but uh, I want to 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 try use in a with with a with a with a clause. Okay, entrepreneur is is the person. Yeah, so my sister is an entrepreneur person. Emprendedor. Entrepreneur. Uh, how will you say emprend... What is the word? Emprendimiento. Yes, how do you say that one? Entrepreneurship. 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 Yes. Okay, thank you. So entre entrepreneur is the person Entre entrepre entrepre entrepreneur. <laughs> entrepreneur. It's yeah, entrepreneur is the person. Yeah, entrepreneur. 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 Yes. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yes. Okay. I have a question. Yes, Karen. Uh, um, I said uh, we were inventing, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure that inventing is is the right word. Making up. Making up. Yes, like I was making up. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. So you can say the word invent, but that applies for Benjamin Franklin, uh, uh, people that really invented something. But or if you're inventors. Right. The invent. Oh, okay. Right. But I imagine that you're coming late to your house and then he says, Tengo que inventarme una historia. So I have to make up a story. Okay. Yeah. Thank it's, you. Okay, how do you say uh, maquillaje in English? Makeup? Makeup. Okay, it's, uh, it's makeup. one word and you say makeup. If you want to say inventar, inventar you say makeup. So word makeup. You separate the word and the pronunciation is a little bit different. No. Makeup. Yeah. Makeup. So in the mornings, uh, women, they put makeup. makeup. So you're coming late to work, you have to make up a story. Make up. Separated. Yeah, it's, it's, it's separated. You separate the it's word. Separated. It's a phrasal verb. It's a phrasal verb. But it's similar. Uh, yeah, it's the same spelling, but you separate it. Okay. Right. 
Okay, uh, any other questions or comments? No? Can you give more example about by the time, please? By the time. By the time the year finishes, um, hopefully the situation will have gotten better. By the time my son graduates, I will be 52 years old. So when you're talking by the time is when you're, you're making an introduction for a finished activity uh, in the tense that you are um, talking. By the time I came to Lourdes, um, my son was 15 years old. So you can use it in different tenses. Teacher, uh, what in Spanish really? What's mean by the time? Por el momento? No. no. Para cuando? Para cuando. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Para cuando yo me moví, mi hijo tenía. Para cuando usted llegue, me llame, and so it's para okay. cuando, right? Okay. By the time. Thank All right. You. Good. Any other questions or comments? No. Okay, so let me share this here. It's 1.4, knowledge check. What time do you guys start your day? 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? In my case, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Dep depends if you have to go to the office. Okay, so because, it, uh -huh, go ahead. And the, uh, when I'm staying home, I used to start at eight. Okay. But if I have to go to the office, I start seven. Okay, all right, good. All right, so let's do this exercise. By the time I was 15, para cuando yo tenía 15. So it's, they're making reference. Uh, when the person was already 15 years old. Which answer do you think best describes the compliment for that one? By the time I was 15. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore, could be. Okay, okay, that's possible. Yeah, everybody can have different opinions. So you said, I learned, uh, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore, good. Someone else? I had learned how to to take care of myself. Very good. Yeah, so if you're an independent person, by the time you're 15, you are independent. Very good, someone else. I began to understand the value of, of money. Okay, good. I understand to, I began to understand the value of money. Good. I have never saved any money. Okay, by the time I was 15, I have never saved any money. Sure. All right. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to the second one. Until I started working part-time. Mm -hmm. I had never saved any money. I had never saved any money. Okay, someone else? Someone else, someone else? I had learned how to take care of myself. Okay, good. Anybody else has a different... to understand the value of money. Okay, what about question number three? The moment I got my first paycheck. Do you remember your first paycheck in your first job? Yes. Do you remember uh, how you spent it? I spent it in ice cream. In ice cream. <laughs> the chocolate ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I spent it in a... In a PS Vita, a console. Uh-huh, okay. I realized that I wasn't a, chi a child anymore. Okay. So you're like, okay, I can do this on my own. All right. Someone else has a different answer for the moment I got my first paycheck? I began to understand the value of money. Right, right. Someone else? No? Okay, number four, as soon as I left home. What is the answer for that one? As soon as I left home. 
I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay, good. Someone else? I had learned how to take care, to of, take myself. care of myself. Okay, good. I had learned how to take care of myself. Anybody else? I haven't understood the importance of good skill. Okay, good. Yeah, because when you're independent, okay, uh -huh. you know, you got to take care of yourself, your own. Right. Okay. You don't have your mom and your dad anymore. <laughs> okay. Once I started sharing an apartment, what can you say about that one? I learned, I learned how to get along better, better, better with people. people. Okay. I learned how to get along better <laughs> with people. Right. You need to. And I learned how, how to communicate better. Okay. Good. Yeah. Communication is really important. Yes. Any, any, anybody else? I learned how to get along better with people. Okay, good, good. All right. Anybody else? I didn't appreciate my own country. Okay, all right. Once I started sharing an apartment, okay. Yeah, because like right now, maybe people have nice apartments, nice houses. But when you go to another country, the story changes. And maybe you're living in a very small place and then you miss El Salvador. Yes. All right. Uh, number six, after I begin a relationship. What can you say about that? I learned how to communicate better. Okay. All right. I learned how to communicate better. Yes. Communication is an important factor. I had never saved any money. Okay, I had never saved any money. That's true. Okay. Yeah, especially if you want to take her to the movies, to a restaurant or something. So you, you got to save money. Right. Anybody else? No? Before I traveled abroad. I, I didn't, didn't appreciate, appreciate my, my own country. country. Right. I didn't appreciate my own country. Right, right. Yeah, so when you leave El Salvador, and especially if you're on holidays and you're not coming back, you appreciate El Salvador much more. Or you don't. <laughs> or you don't. You said, man, finally I left. But, you know, everybody has different <laughs> points of view. Right. Especially nowadays. <laughs> See, teacher, yes. what, what is the meaning of the word abroad? Abroad uh, means in another country. Like a foreign. Yeah, a foreign country. Uh, foreign. Yes. Yeah, before I travel abroad, I'll extra country. Okay, thank yep. you. Okay. And I think this is the last one, number eight, until I got really sick. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Exactly. You know, until you're in a hospital, then you start thinking about, man, I need to start changing my diet. I need to exercise more. And, you know, things happen. Things happen. All right. Um, any questions about these eight um, exercises? No? On, those exercise, in, 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 on those exercises, we have to use uh, past tense. Uh, usually, yes, usually, yeah, because this is like the complement of, of the conversation we were practicing yesterday and the complement of the time clauses, right. Can we choose more than one? Uh, you know, the platform accepts only one, um, one answer. But, you know, the way that I was doing it in class, you say, well, I identify with the first option. I identify with the second option. But according to the platform, there is only one good answer. So try to um, give the closest answer uh, possible so it doesn't mark you wrong. Okay. Yeah, I think that it could be a little confusing because it seems that more than one answer, it's correct. Exactly, exactly, yes. Answers. Is there a way that we can identify another, uh, I don't know, 
or the way to get the right that, answer? You know, uh, for example, that's... the form of the verb after the clause or something like that. Right. Uh, you know, like, unfortunately, the platform, you know, they program the answers. And even though there are more than one option, there's more than one option, they okay. only accept one. So you have to, like I said, try to be as close as possible so it doesn't mark you wrong. Yeah, that's correct. I had some issues with this part, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Now, if, if you have... A, if you're having issues and you are trying and the platform still doesn't recognize the right answer, uh, let me know and, and we'll double check. Okay, thank you. All right, good. So let's go to our next exercise. We're going to be, where was this? Right here. Give me a second. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. So can you see the, the list of uh, words that we have here? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Okay. We have ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, and sophisticated. Do you recognize all the vocabulary? Yes, sir. No, in my no. case, I don't know what is carefree. Carefree, okay. Carefree. Can, yeah, can somebody explain the word carefree? You don't worry about that, about one thing. Exactly. You are like, whatever, you know, whatever happens. So you don't care. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. someone else? What is the na naive? Naive? Naive. Naive. Yeah. naive. naive. Does anybody naive. know how to explain naive? Maybe, maybe it's uh, somebody uh, like, uh, like a it's like a simple person, you know, when... when like innocent. Like, like innocent, innocent. Exactly, exactly. Like uh -huh. experience. Thank you. Something like that. What, what, what is the word uh, that people use in Spanish for naive? Ingenuo. Right, <laughs> right. Like you easily believe uh, everything you hear, everything yeah. they tell you. So you're naive, right? Okay. Any others? Teacher, what is the meaning of pragmatic? Pragmatic. Pragmatico. What is pragmatic? Mm -hmm. How can you explain the word pragmatic? Anybody? Uh, I think uh, it's maybe like... go ahead, go ahead. Maybe that it's someone that it's going direct to the point. I mean, straight to the point. So just okay. thinking on the what can we get or something like that. Okay. All right. Someone else. I think it's the ability to do the different things in a simple way. Right. Okay. Anybody else wants to share the definition of pragmatic? I think someone is more practical than theory, theoretical. Right, yes. <clears throat> yeah, pragmatic means makes reference to finding solutions in a very practical way without complicating. Okay, any other words, any other vocabulary? Um, it's interesting. No. So let me take a picture of this list. Can you repeat, please, uh, the word cons conscient? <laughs> I can't. Con con consci conscientious. 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 Yes, okay. conscientious. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good. Uh, let me see. 9 to 10 p.m. I will send you this list. This is vocabulary that people use in a real life situation when you describe. So uh, let me see this here. Naive makes reference to um, someone that believes everything they hear. And 
teacher, I yes. get confused with sensible and sensitive. <laughs> okay. Sensible and sensitive. Sensitivo and sensibly. Yes. You know, they, they appear to be like uh, synonyms, but they're not exactly the same. Yeah, sensible and sensitive. Yes. Okay, so let me assign you to work in pairs and use this vocabulary to describe how you were before and how you are now. So let's say uh, 10 years ago, I was a very ambitious person. Now I see things from a different perspective and I don't see material things as important as before. So let me see this here. Recreate, recreate. And here we go. All right, let's do this. Use this vocabulary to describe yourself in the past and how you are right now. Let's go. Loading, loading, loading. My job, my boss was very ambitious. <laughs> okay, okay, and you, Antonio? Okay, something that I can say about myself in the past is that I was <laughs> really naive. Is naive. It the naive. Uh, naive. Yes. Naive. Remember the president. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Naive. laughs> Pronunciation is, is similar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, naive. Right. Yes, naive. Okay. Naive. 
So I was really naive, but <laughs> because of the responsibilities, I needed to be less than that. <laughs> and now I consider that I am more like pragmatic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, ah yeah, yeah. Ha nice Hachiko, movie. yeah. Yes, Hachiko. <laughs> well, uh, the, the, dog, the dog that is still waiting, his owner, in a train station. Yes, that yeah. one. <laughs> I cry in everything movie. <laughs> yes, me too. Also. And then I almost cried the whole day for that movie. <laughs> After watching that movie. Which movie so, are you talking about? Hachiko. <laughs> Hachiko. Hachiko, yeah. yeah. It, it sounds Japanese. Yes. Yeah, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. You haven't seen that movie? No, no. What is it about? Is it romance, a drama? It's a drama, but it's uh, about a dog. And it's very beautiful. Okay. <laughs> it's it, really sad. Yeah. Really, really sad. You need to see. You need to watch that movie. And, and, and I imagine You're that going to a lot. the dog uh, dies at the end. No. no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ashiko is the name. Uh, do you want to know what is the the dog? Yeah, that's the name. That that's the name. But Ashiko. we are not going to tell you what is the end. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's better if I watch it. You need to watch. Yeah. Teacher, okay. you, yeah. you must That's watch it. that movie. You, you need to see it with a box, box of tissues by, uh, beside yeah. you really? because you will cry. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. So it, it must be a good movie. Yeah, it's protagonized by, with uh, Richard Gere. Oh, oh okay. And the, the saddest part about this is that it is based on a real story. Really? So, oh. Yes, that happened in Japan, I think. Uh huh. And it was real. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really sad. Okay. Oh, I'm. I'm going to. Uh, it, when when did this movie uh, come come out? Is it a new movie? No. No, it's really old, but I'm not sure about the, the year that it was released. But okay. I think it's really old, right? Okay. I think I think it is like from 2008 to 2009. Okay. Somewhere between those years. All right. So like 12 years ago, maybe? Uh, yeah, something like that. Something All right. Like that. Okay, good. I, I'll remember that. And I'll try to watch that movie whenever I get the chance. Yes, let us know. Okay. <laughs> I will, and I'll give you my point of view about the movie. Yeah. Let us know how, how much you cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Problems bigger than they are, but I'm working hard to, to become, or, be, or I'm sorry, or become and a pragmatic uh, person, pragmatic person. Good. And what else, Caesar? Uh, well, um, let me see. Uh, Which the, one were you discussing? Uh, we already discussed uh, discussed uh, all the uh, words, but I can't make it up uh, uh, right now. Okay. But let me see. Um, I do have to say that I'm very conscientious uh, because I really like to be uh, ambitious with my uh, with my let's say challenge. Uh -huh. Yes. With yeah. My, my challenges, With your objectives, uh -huh. my objectives, uh, but at the end, uh, I would say that uh, I'm a little bit rebellious because uh, I don't have like the same opinion with uh, other people. That's, okay, it, it was just an example. All right, good, good. 
Let me let me plant it. Plant it. How do you say when someone when, when you leave someone um waiting? When, waiting, yeah. Hanging. Waiting. Hanging. hanging. Okay. Hanging. So if I want to hanging. tell you no me deje plantado, I will say don't leave me hanging. Hanging. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I okay. was telling today that last Monday I thought that, that English Corporativo have hanging me. Okay. <laughs> because I thought that the class begin at October 22. Oh, 22nd. Now yes. we began yesterday. Yes. All right. Did you receive an email with the date, Shanita? Yes, I received that the day um Friday. Last Friday. Okay. But yesterday I like, I can attend I a class. Uh -huh. I couldn't attend the class because I forgot my cell phone in the in the office. Okay. And I use my cell phone internet. Okay. You're Janita from Chalchuapa, right? Yes. Good, good. All right, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. How do you say grillos in English? Grillo. I hear somebody's uh, cricket uh, at the end. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about today? No, teacher. No? Okay. So thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. See ya. See ya.